What's up everyone, The Network Berg here. Hope you've been doing well. This video will be focusing on CDP neighbors. <laughs> so that is a protocol that they discuss in the CCNA, the current and the new CCNA. So it would be useful for us to probably make a video about it just to explain it quickly. So I'm going to do that just now. I just want to remind people again to subscribe to the channel, like and share the content. Let's get into it. All right, so let's explain quickly what is CDP. CDP stands for the Cisco Discovery Protocol. It is a Cisco proprietary protocol. It works at layer two, so the data link layer. And mainly what this protocol is doing is, is learning about devices that it is directly connected to, be it on a physical interface or across a VLAN. So you'd be able to gain information such as IP addresses, version numbers, what equipment this is, also which port exactly it connects onto on the remote equipment. So there's quite a bit of information. So that is quite useful for somebody who's maybe new to the network and they're trying to map it out, or maybe you're trying to find exactly which um, device uplinks where you want to see where you switch uplinks to your routers, and this is how you could do this. It's, it's fairly easy, it's also quite simple to set up. Just a thing to note about CDP, um, it is best practice to set your whole timer at least three times more than the CDP packet timer. What are those? Well, the CDP packet is just a frame that is sent every couple of, uh, the default is 60 seconds across the wire just to gain that information. So once the one router receives the CDP packet, it will respond with all of its details. What the whole timer is doing, and that is a default of 180 seconds, is it stores that information for 180 seconds. If it doesn't hear back from its CDP neighbor in 180 seconds, it will remove that neighbor from its CDP neighbors list. That is how that works. So you see, I've got a little topology here. It looks like a little house actually. So that's quite funny. Um, so I want to show you what CDP is actually doing. I've got a couple of routers here. I've got a couple of switches and I've configured some IP addresses on the routers. So let's quickly jump into, let's say the switch one and see what CDP is actually doing. So I want you to see there's router one, there's switch three, there's router two. I want you to see what happens when we issue CDP commands. So we're going to do a show CDP neighbors. That's it. That is it. It will show you what is connected where. So I've currently only got a switch connected on Gigi02 and that is going to my switch 3. So router 2 and router 1 I'm not seeing. There could be various reasons for that. It could be that the CDP is disabled. It could be that the link is still down. There's many reasons why that is happening. So let's just log on to those two routers as well. Let's just start with router 1. And then show CDP neighbors. Let's see what we pick up. We don't pick anything up on router 1 yet. Show run. Let's just see if CDP is enabled. So I do a show run section CDP. If CDP was disabled, it would show no CDP run. So CDP is enabled. Let's just look at that port. I already know what's wrong. So these are Cisco viral images and with the Cisco viral images on any virtual platform, I've seen the ports shut themselves on the routers. So we could quickly fix this just by going into config T in GI01 and just doing a no shut. So this will bring up that interface. Let's do the same for router two. Enable config T in GI zero zero, no shut. I'm going to go back onto my switch. And with any luck, I should now have a couple of more routers. There they are. Hello router one, hello router two. So I can now see exactly a switch, which is the switch three. I can see router two and I can see router one. The local interface is which port it's connected on my equipment. There's the whole time it's doing a countdown until it loses this neighbor if it doesn't get a packet back. It's telling you co the, compa the capability of the directly connected device so this can route, it can switch. Um, 
then we get the platform so generally you would see here if it's a cisco because the thing is the other vendors also kind of adopted cisco cdp neighbors um so i've seen it on hp i've seen it on Microtech, i've seen it on a few devices where you can run a show cdp neighbor command and if you have a cisco or one of those same devices connected it would bring up similar information so even though it's cisco proprietary it uh, a lot of people did adopt it as well and then here you get the port id so this shows you what's connected on the opposite end where it's connected you could also do something very cool by doing the show cdp neighbors detail now this gives us a ton of information this gives us all the information on all of our neighbors so you can see exactly their platform their interfaces their hold timers their versions everything this is a very useful there's advertisement version which is two it's generally two uh, but it, it's something that you should know as well. There is a CDP V1 and V2, but it's generally V2. Now, this is useful for me if I'm new and I'm trying to figure out everything. But <laughs> on the flip side, it's also quite dangerous because this means if there was a, a, let's say, malicious user on the network and they had access to, the, they didn't even need access to the switch. They could I, ideally also just connect like a virtual router on their own computer, connect it up to your switch the cable that's coming from the switch like a normal person would and they'd be able to find your switches ip details port details version numbers if they get your version number they could look for exploits on that version so it is a bit of a security risk as well to just run cdp open across the whole network so it is also best practice to disable cdp and only enable it on specific ports so you only want CDP running on uplink ports where you know it's going to another switch or a router or a firewall or something that you know is managed that nobody can just take the cable and plug straight into their machine. So we're going to do that just now and it's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be quick as well. So there is two ways to disable CDP. The first and foremost is you can disable it completely on the device itself by going into your command line and let's just go into configuration mode and let's type no cdp run remember i mentioned earlier cdp run so if i hit enter now boom this device will no longer do cdp it will not do it anywhere the only problem with this is if i want to enable cdp on any of the ports it will not allow me to do it because we've essentially shut down cdp you'll see if i do show cdp neighbors it says CDP is not enabled. So that's a one way to do it, but now we can't do CDP at all. So if you know that you don't want CDP, you can just disable it this way. But let's say you still want it. We are going to enable it again, and then we're going to only run it on specific ports. So I'm going to go into config T interface. Let me just see how many interfaces I have. Show IP in brief. Okay, I've got a few. So let's do config T int range GI 0, zero 02 dash 3. And let's say no CDP enable. Yes. So no CDP enable. We hit enter. And I'm going to do that for the other range as well. So now I've disabled CDP on all of the ports, right? So if I do show CDP neighbors, it's still got those neighbors because of the whole time. So when that whole time runs out and it's getting a new packet, it's not going to be in the list. That's the only reason you see these devices right now, this very second. But we're going to quickly allow cdp just from specific ports so let's let this router one timer actually run out switch three and switch two let's only allow that for cdp and we see that comes in on gi02 and gi01 so config t interface let's say gi02 cdp enable let's go into interface gi01 let's say cdp enable so now switch three and router two should be able to send me cdp packets and i'll see them in my neighbors list router one i'm not allowing so we could imagine that router one is 
this malicious user that we don't want to hear from anymore. So let's have a look. It's going to take a little bit of time because that whole timer needs to first run out. So I'm just going to pause the video until the whole timer runs out. I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's quickly have a look and see what has happened. So show CDP neighbors and router one has disappeared. It's no longer being allowed because we've disabled GI00 CDP neighbor port or CDP port and switch which is switch three, we can see as well as router two. So we've accomplished what we wanted. We've stopped CDP and we're only allowing it to specific ports that we've determined. So that's very useful and that has also secured the network. So <laughs> that is how we can enable CDP. I've also shown you what CDP is, how it works and how we can disable it in the event of wanting to secure the network. So I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll catch you again in the next video. See ya.